Welcome back gang. So we're playing with our Electrics Cute Bot and now we want to play with um, the HCSR04, the distance sensor, the ultrasonic distance sensor. And I'm using make code because it's got that nice little block editor. Um, and it also gives you options to play with Python or um, JavaScript in it. You could also, because this thing is a micro bit, you can also just use uh, MicroPython. So, uh, first thing we got to do, we've got to go to extensions, which are either here at the bottom of the tray of blocks or up in the upper right with the gear with extensions. And we search for CuteBot and we click on it. And it actually adds two sets of blocks. It adds the CuteBot blocks, but because they're a couple of NeoPixels, they have it automatically dropping in the NeoPixel blocks. So here we go. There's several things we've got to do for this. We want our bot to move forward, and if it sees something, stop. If it gets too close to something, stop. Then back up, and I want it to turn while it's backing up. Um, now there's a whole lot of things after that. Uh, that we're not going to talk too much about like what do you want to do when you stop and back up? Do you want to keep going forward? Do you just want to try and avoid things? Or are you going to try and get from one side of the room to the other side of the room like through an obstacle course? That's a whole different um, layer of coding. So let's just have it back up and try and avoid things. So first thing we need, we, we're going to need a variable because we're going to get some data from our distance sensor. We're going to put that data into a variable. So we click on variables, we make a variable. I'm just going to call it distance. You know, call it sonar if you want. Call it, uh, call it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, but you know, name things that make sense. And then it creates some blocks for us. All right. Now we need an if block, a logic block that says if. But we need an if else. Because this basically says if something is true, do this. Otherwise, else, do this other thing. And this might seem backwards to you, but the else is drive forward. The if is if we get too close to something, let's stop and back up. Um, so the else is actually the drive forward. So let's just go ahead and build, put that in. Uh, let's just go forward. And we're not going to go forward for a certain amount of time. We're just going to go forward and just keep going forward. So let's go forward. I don't want to go 100%. Um, let's just go 80 and now we need that's going to go into our forever the other thing that's got to go into our forever is remember we created that variable well we've got to tell it to set put some data in that variable put some numbers and that those numbers we want are in the cubebot thing they are the hcs04 Take, the sen take that sensor and put its numbers, its data, into the variable distance. Now, play with centimeters, play with inches, doesn't matter. Um, just for reference, you know, 10 centimeters. If you close your, the fingers on your hand, including your thumb, um, you're across your palm, including your thumbs, about 10 centimeters. All right, now, here's our, our, our if statements. If, 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 well, we need a, a box that's got triangular things, right? Um, so let's grab this because we're going to compare. So if something is less than, equal to, less than, you know, the equal to, let's go less than. If something, well, if our distance, so click on variables, click on, you know, grab the, the round thing, distance. If our distance is less than, I'm just going to say 15 centimeters then do something well the obvious thing i want to do is stop i don't want to run into things um and this is where we're kind of experimenting is 15 enough time to read 15 centimeters and stop at the speed we're going um because we could be going like really really fast and not have enough time to read oh we're, we're too close so that's kind of a little experiment, but we want to stop. Um, otherwise, go forward. If we're too close, stop. Otherwise, go forward. So that would work the test. 
our sensor. And if we came upon something, we'd stop and uh, we'd be done. Our code would end. Our, our, our code would never end because it runs forever. But our QBot wouldn't do anything. Um, so let's add some bits to this this if part. Uh, first of all, let's 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 get some lights in here. So the QBot has some headlights. So let's uh, when we're driving, let's set both headlights to green. And when we stop, let's set the headlights to red. I know, such magical thoughts, right? And there's two ways to do it. You can do RGB code, which the values go from 0 to 255. Or you can just pick the color color picker here. Um, but I want both lights to be red. I also want some noise. I want some music. I want some noise. So we're just going to pick a tone. Pick a note, whatever you want. One beat, quarter beat, half beat things to play with now that would be really kind of boring um, because it would happen like really quickly and that's it so what I want to do is I want to first of all I gotta you always gotta need some pauses so I gotta pause that let's pause it for a second but I want it to happen a few times so let's grab a repeat so repeat would be a loop so let's make it do it four times so let's grab the this block neat thing is when you grab a block everything below it comes with it so stop the car and four times turn the headlights red play a tone take half second but i want the headlights to flash so I better turn them off. Okay. So turn the headlights off. Turn off all headlights. Oh, I grabbed that. Let's, let's, let's do that. Turn off all headlights. Turn off all headlights. Um, now, remember, if we don't put a time there, it's just going to pop up to the next line of code really quickly, and we'll never see them go off. So half a second, three hundredths. Let's go. Th oops, three thirty. Let's go. Th just play with time. Three hundred. All right. So if we get close to something, stop the car and four times uh, turn the headlights red. Play a tone. Turn the headlights off. Four times in a row. Awesome. Otherwise, turn the headlights green and go forward at 80% speed. Now, again, the code's gonna run forever, but it's just gonna, if, our, if we come close to something, it's just gonna stop and sit there. So we wanna back up. So after we beep at ourselves, we wanna back up. So I'm gonna use this. Set left wheel speed. Oh, let's use negative 40 for that and negative 80 for the right. Um, so we're going to back up and kind of turn as we back up. Now, again, if we don't put a pause in here, it's really not going to happen. Because it will just run that piece of code just so fast. How long do we want to pause? Again, this is experiment. How long do you want to back up and turn for I just picked a number and you got to experiment see how it goes um, so again here's what's gonna happen we made a variable called distance we're gonna take our data from our HCRS04 and set it to distance forever it's in the forever loop so it's always gonna be doing that and if the dis distance is less than 15 it's gonna stop the car beep and flash the headlights four times then it's going to back up and turn for, you know, four tenths of a second. And then it's going to pop out of that code. You know, otherwise it's just going to go straight and turn the highlights green. And then come back and see, hey, am I too close? If I'm too close, do this. Otherwise, just go straight. If I'm too close, do all this. Otherwise, go straight. 
Um, so that's kind of an you know, obstacle avoidance. So let's throw that into our micro bit on our Qbot and see what happens. Here we go with our Let us see. My Qbot has a little bit. Now, I don't know why it did that. Um, since the 15. So here we go. See, I think something's happening when. registering the 15 the less than 15 centimeters which is interesting so maybe make it see it didn't register at that time let's put a hand down so it didn't do it that time so i'm not It didn't do that hop. So it's not hitting things. Won't hit that little bit, but that's okay. So, doing pretty good. Um, so you've got to play with the uh, speed and the distance, that you're not going so fast that you run into See how we got some gap there, so that's good. And then you got to play with see that hop thing. Got to work on that. So there we go.